it really does bug me. I'll be honest, you know, because I live in the UK and the BBC is so skewed. The mainstream media is completely skewed against the Hindu narrative. Uh, sorry, I'm just going to add something here that I remember it's so skewed. The BBC is so skewed that when the persecutions were happening in, in, happening in Bangladesh last year against the Hindus and killing off the devotees and, you know, every Diwali, every uh, Kali Puja, Durga Puja, they have, you know, their, their festival is to destroy the Hindu temples. BBC did not report a single article. And within two days or something, there was the India-Pakistan match and the, the Muslims in India were celebrating that Pakistan had won. So the police came and, you know, said, hey, dude, you live in India. Please don't, you know, celebrate when we lose. I think that's uncool. So they, you know, arrested some of them and put them in jail. Immediately, that was in the BBC news. Immediately, I'm like, acha, to agenda kya hai? Hindu log, you know, right wing hai, they're imbalanced, they're... So you just, you know, what can you do? This is, um, the reality is they cannot handle why is India still thriving? <laughs> why is it still um, so resilient? So I think the best thing we can do in return is to just follow even with more dignity and more um, determination to understand our identity even more. And, you know, really join the, the um, journalism and the media because we need more Hindu voices. There's one thing that we've got to give to Islam and Christianity is that they have really covered all the bases. They have, they have the narrative, at least the global narrative. So if the young Hindus are watching, I would say get into journalism. You know, uh, let's, let's help um, make our voices heard. Oh, mm -hmm.